Hey folks, Moran here. Today I will be covering up the uh, Wow Profession Old World Farming Guide. There is Fall Linen Cloth and Wool Cloth. Um, I tested out a personal spot and then I tested out two of the spots from, uh, from Wow, wow Professions. Um, and I will give you the numbers of what I've gathered those three places and what place I actually think is the best. But yeah, let's get to it. I have three places to go through and uh, limited time, so to say. Um, so let's get into it. Okay, so for the first spot, I am in Duskwood, in Alliance Territory at Raven Hill Cemetery. Uh, to get to Duskwood, if you're a horde player, you can take the Sevelin for Ultramar to uh, Strength from Vale, the uh, Gromgol base camp, and fly from there. It doesn't take that long, so it shouldn't matter, matter that much. Um, normally, outside the tomb, Morbidus would stay here. That's a giant uh, skeleton, skeleton standing here. Um, but it is the matter of the Darving Woods, catac Darving Woods catacombs down here. As you can see, down here we have a lot of ghouls. And these can be rounded up and killed. They drop both linen cloth and wool cloth. This place was actually thought of as a only wool cloth place, but in one of the previous patches, Blizzard has changed this. Um, nonetheless, this is a rather decent farming place um, and quite alone. I was farmed down here for one hour and I didn't have anybody coming. Um, you need to kill this group over here this group over here and of course these guys up here then you run down the stairs here and this group in the hall you can pull all of these at, as, together and then simply kill them easy peasy in the other rooms see I have some respawn here in the other rooms um, you need to pull them one or two one two groups uh, I've had success with the three groups to avoid uh, resetting, so they evade. But you can also kill one of them and then two or three will come running, as you can see. Quite easy. But there is a thing at this place, and you can easily forget it while the farm is going on and, and the, the flow is going, so to say. There is this guy here, called Morbent Fell. You will not kill him, because if you do so, you kill basically everything. I can show you here. As you can see, everything except what I pulled died. Um, even the spellcasters down here died. Um, so you, please, for your own sake, try to avoid killing him. Because as you can see, everything down here is dead. Even up here, the sides are dead. Um, and Morbidus up here will be dead as well. Um, so, do not kill that guy. Leave him. For the second spot, we are in Wetlands uh, at the Moshhide Fen. If you are Alliance, you can take from Ironforge and just fly, simply and easy. You can also take from the portal from Stonewind City um, to Twilight Highlands and then you're there. Easy peasy, um, couldn't be easier. If you are Horde, you can take the portal to Twilight Highlands. If we have a Rathi Highlands here, you can actually port from the Sauralor and uh, fly from there. So this is a place in the middle of everything and you can actually come into that place fast. Um, the reason why I love this place and why I find this is the best place to farm both wool cloth and linen cloth is actually because of the hyper spawn technique there, that there is here. Um, as you can see they are grouped up, chain lightning, turn around and tap, chain lightning, turn around and tap, and you can keep on doing this like forever. I spent one hour down here and it didn't feel like one hour 
but nonetheless, I spent one hour down here. And they just kept on coming. Um, it, it, it was amazing to stand down here. And sometimes you, you, you just find these places that you're just like, wow, why haven't I seen this before? And that was the feeling I had with this one. As you can see, I'm barely breaking a sweat here. Um, and, and to make this even funnier, I can just place down an earthquake there. And then turn around to the other places. And kill that. Turn on, put down a new earthquake. Turn around, tap to that one. And kill. Compared to the Duskwood area I showed you. Um, you get a bigger amount of cloth out of just this one place. You can get the chance of BOEs that you can sell on the auction house. You can get gems that you can sell on the auction house. Um... You can even get a battle pet that can be sold in the auction house. So even though this isn't a gold guide, this is also a very strong place to actually make gold on. Um, so totally recommendable. And if you are a tailor that really needs this instant farming spot, this is the place for getting those two cloths down. Um, but let's go on to the last one. And I'll tell you why that is on the third place. And here we are for the last spot. Um, this place... I'm, I'm, I'm actually not sure why I'm showing it to you, but... Um, yeah. May maybe you can find a better way of use this place, but uh, on, on, an, on an Enhancement Shaman, this place is not effective. But nonetheless, it was on the list on WoW Professions, so I thought, to, thought that I would test it out um, compared to both wetlands and duskwood this place is not even by far close uh, I am in uh, silver pine forest at the decrypt the at the decrypt fields fields sorry for mispronouncing but meh, no mind um, and here you run around in a circle and kill all these walkins around here um, as you can see for me as a enhancement shaman um, there's quite the the, uh, the distance between the mobs and I figured out that one hour of farming down here run around kill one mob at a time for sometimes getting two linen cloth and sometimes get none linen cloth. Um, kinda killed this area for me a lot. Even with the cloth scavenging, I didn't feel like I had any effective farm for this place. Um, and that one hour took forever, in in my feeling. Um, maybe it's because I am an enhancement shaman and and needs to run that far around. Um, Maybe if I test this area out on a different character, the outcome would be different. But nonetheless, for getting a good amount of linen cloth, this is not a place I would recommend at all. Um, I was a bit in doubt why it wasn't the WoW Professions, because I didn't see the effectiveness on this one. Um, yeah, you are in Horde side, yeah, you can do this on a low level character um, if you wanna. Um, but in, in, in the long run, I didn't really catch, caught the, uh, caught the, the feeling of it. Um, it is humanoid, so of course the cloth scavenging is, is kicking in. There I got free linen cloth and, and such. Uh, but this is not a place I would recommend. Um, I only have it on the list because I tested it out. And because it was in Wild Professions, and I thought that uh, it was worth mentioning that sometimes even the big farming sites can be disappointing. Um, so, you can use this place as a filler, if, if you just need a little amount of, of linen cloth. Um, but I would totally recommend 
either wetlands or duskwood for this area, for, for this kind of farm. Um, I ran around down here for one hour and I looted two green items that was quite a big amount of gold. But as said before, this is not a gold making guide. This is a cloth farming guide. And for cloth farming, this area is not recommendable at all. That's why it's on the third spot on uh, on, on my farming um, road list here. Um, and may maybe on a different character, this can be better. Um, you're welcome to test it out yourself and figure out if it did something for you. Okay, so to wrap up the places, we had on the winning spot, of course, wetlands at the Mushhide Fen, the dragon maw mobs that you need to kill. As a total winner, with the amount of 969 wool cloth and 762 linen cloth and 93 silk cloth and a gold looted on 159 gold, 32 silver and 24 copper. So for the first place, wetlands. Woohoo! For the second place, we have Duskwood at the Darwin Catacombs Raven Hill, where I looted 448 wool cloth and 384 linen cloth and 54 silk cloth and a total amount of 78 gold, 32 silver and 32 copper. Whee! So Duskwood is the second place. And for the third place we have the spot in Silver Pine, Silver Pine Forest, the Decrepit Fields. Um, with the loot amount of 277 linen cloth and 70 wool cloth, no silk cloth. And a gold looted amount of 27 gold and 83 silver and 52 copper. So that's the places to go to. Good luck and have fun and see ya.